Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to go through a quick video on how to append data tables in NIME. Some, some of you might know it as um, concatenating tables, um, but anyways, we'll go through that right now. First off, our data sets that we're working with are going to be these three tables, and these are the three tables we want to append. So they're the same structure, which is very important when you uh, append data tables. They all share the same column names. Um, rows don't really matter much. It's just the same column names um, so that you basically stack based on the column names, right? So here we've got everything is named date, it's named category, and it's named sales. Because if you don't have the same column um, names, then Nime won't know that they're the same, right? If you have a letter off between one column name and the other, but they're the same thing, it doesn't recognize that. So you need to make sure that your column names are the same. Quick way to check that is when you look at your data table, if you click on the specs column, you can see all the column names right over here, right? And you can do the same for all your tables. You can see they all match date, category, sales. This is especially useful, this little trick when you've got a table you got data sets that have like let's say 30 columns in, in them it's easier to look at it on a vertical than it is across and then opening up these these column names right because by default they're usually very um, they're not spaced out like this how I have it to show the name but anyways so we've got the same column names so this is going to be as easy as going to the node repository and searching concat and taking the concatenate node and basically taking one table, joining it or adding it or connecting it to the node, connecting the next table, and then hitting execute, right? So now we've got these two first two tables that show the um, toy plush and the electronic charging cable. They've each got 13 rows by three columns. So this new table we should see should be thir or sorry. Yeah, 13 rows by 3 columns, so the new concatenated or appended table should be 26 rows by 3 columns. So if we go to the concat node, now that we've set it up, and you look at the output, you've got 26 rows over here by the 3 columns. So it looks like we're good to go. It concatenated correctly. So a rookie mistake that I used to make when I had more than 2 tables that needed to concatenate was I would take another concatenate node and then <laughs> concat this output to here, which works. But there's actually uh, an easier way, which is to go to the concatenate node and you see these three dots over here? If you click that, it gives you the option to add an input port. So that input port, right, it's gonna reset, is just another um, port to connect another table to. So now we can run this table's connection up here. So now this table has 13 rows as well. So we should have a concatenated or appended final table of, it's so gonna be 39 rows by three columns. So if we look at, if we execute this and look at the output, we've now got 39 rows, right? By three columns. And you see the three categories we had earlier with their respective sales for each respective date. So that's how you run a concatenate node within NIME. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change one of the column names so that we're a letter off or let's say the naming convention is different from this table. Instead of saying category, the column in this table is just named cat, shorthand for category, right? So now we've got this table, this column is called cat instead of category. So what's going to happen is instead of seeing our table of 39 rows and three columns, we're actually going to see this at its own as its own independent column. So we'll see a final concatenated table or appended table of 39 rows, but with four columns, with this column having the question mark for missing values within it. All right, just to show you, we're going to execute this, look at the output, and now you can see you've got 39 rows 
but now instead of the three columns you've got four because these column names weren't the same so NIME doesn't know that they need to be stacked right so just something to be aware of when you are concatenating tables um, remember you can go in and look at your source tables look at their dimensions and then do the math to make sure that it lines up on what the final output is if it doesn't line up then you know that there's a duplicate of columns and you can find that by looking at where the disconnect is through these missing values right here we know the disconnect is between the category and the cat because they should be stacked together but there's missing values because the names are different so just something to keep in mind when you're working with the concatenation node to append data tables together if you guys have any questions or any comments just drop them in the comments i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can like always, like, subscribe, and share this video with your analyst friends. I'll catch you guys on the next one.